Hey, this is Redmo Gam, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I record all of my Gear VR video game play. Let's get to it. Okay, for recording software, I'm using OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. I use this software for all my gameplay videos, my live streaming, everything. It just works great, and it's free. So now, as far as my phone video, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S7. And what I did was I downloaded an app. It is called Mirror OP for Galaxy. So you download the app on your phone, and then you download Mirror OP Receiver on your computer. And what it'll do, it sends it via Wi-Fi. It'll send you video and it'll send you audio. If you run both, it ends up really laggy. So I cut the audio out and I'm just running strictly video using that software. So once you get your phone hooked to your computer, it should end up looking like this. So now that's my phone. That's what she looked like. Now, as far as my audio from my phone, the way I'm doing that is on my sound card. I'll show you real quick. I have a Sound Blaster Recon 3DI sound card. On my sound card, I have the option of, originally it was a headphones and mic in. So it would show the microphone when I plug the microphone in. Of course, if you take headphone jack from, from your phone and plug it into a microphone jack, it doesn't work. Luckily, I found this that I can switch to a line in. So that's how I'm running my audio from my phone into my computer. Now, what I ended up doing so I can hear it on the headphones is I did my line in if I go onto my recording devices, it'll show my line in. So when I click on my line in and show the properties, it gives me the option to listen to the device. So I clicked on listen to the device. That way the audio from my phone plays through and into my headphones. And at the same time, it's recording on OBS. So now with all that set up, I take my Gear VR. Let me get this up and rolling. Boom. Now I plug this in, which I might not be able to do with the headphone. Yeah, I can do it. Cool. Now I plug it in. I'm going to use it's a nifty little trick when you're setting up your videos. Just put a baseball hat in it so it'll turn on. And you can hold it. And there it is. Now my volume on my phone, I run, I run at about 14. I'm sure it'll change, you know, depending on what phones you're running. But you can hear it selecting through. Now I noticed with this software, the Mirror OP software, there there is two different versions. Well, actually, there's three different versions because you can get Mirror OP. And then they have Mirror OP for Galaxy. If you have a Galaxy phone, obviously you want Mirror OP for Galaxy. There's also another option for one you purchase. It's $9.99, I believe. It's somewhere right around $10. But that's the one you want. That one works way better than the free ver version of it. Now to show you how I have my OBS set up. Okay, this looks a little weird, I know, but this is the only way I could record the whole setup, so don't pay attention to the multiple me's or this, this crazy looking... That is pretty far out. No! Looks like it can do the wave. Whoa! That's trippy. Oh, anyways. Yeah, so the way I have this whole thing set up is my game capture is obviously set up for monitor capture, and as you can see, and I'm running dual monitors, so I have it to capture monitor one while I'm running my software on two. Now this is my Gear VR one. I, if I switch it over, you won't be able to see the OBS, so you won't see where I'm gonna, what I'm going to be pointing out. But the way I have it set up in my sources, in this section right here, I have another option, which I wonder if I can show you. Yes. The option image, what I did was I did a background image 
which shows, I think it's like, like it says Revmo plays Gear VR, and it's like this old haunted house in the background. So what I did is I set another source up. It's just that image in the background. Then, of course, you have my webcam, which I'm running a green screen. Let me see. Yeah, see that outline? There's my webcam scene. That's why if I put my hand this way, it disappears, you know, all that good stuff. And what I did with my other scene, my game capture scene, was I shrunk it up. So all I'm doing is I'm taking one side of the uh, Gear VR video. So you don't have the two screens going on. It's just that one side. So when it's all said and done, it looks and sounds like this. So that's the best way I found to run it without spending a shit ton of money. It has little to no lag and sounds good. So if you have any other questions, just post them in the comments down below. I'll leave the information on the software that I'm using down in the description. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, see ya!